Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI. So we are here in the Soul Shrine, and we are just about ready to take on the final wave here in the Soul Shrine. I'm just going to quickly check my equipment for relics. We want everybody to be set up with Ribbon and Miracle Shoes. This is going to protect us from status ailments, while this gives us a lot of the buffs that we need to make it through the battles. And I'm just going to also check my espers. Fenrir, Golem... I kind of feel like she should have something to... I don't know that Phantom is going to be of much use. I'm trying to think. Uh, Phantom might be useful. Yeah, uh, I think we're pretty much set up. Uh, just let me make sure that HP is good. I'm going to use up whatever ethers I have here. We're getting to the point where you don't need to worry about item conservation. Uh, we're just trying to make it through. I'm going to throw in another quick save state. And we are going to go through the very last wave of the Soul Shrine. Those of you who know what's coming, well, you know what's coming. But for those of you who don't, let's get into it. Uh, actually, ooh, almost forgot. Uh, elemental protection. So Minerva Bustier, and we actually wanted we want ice shields for these two. And I'm gonna give the Paladin shield to Gogo. -Go. And these two have ice shields. Yeah, elemental protection is very useful. Okay, so take two. We're gonna do this. Let's get into it. And we are fighting the Ice Dragon, and it is the souped-up version that we fought in the Dragon's Den. So, yep, yeah, we gotta fight these guys again. I wanna be careful I don't use Grand Delta, because if I hit all four of them, there's actually four Ice Dragons, and if I hit four of them, they will retaliate, so it's actually better to go with single... Yeah, he still took the hit there. Fenrir will actually help weather that somewhat. She can kind of focus on being the medic at the moment. Yeah, they they hit hard. They're doing some good damage. Oh, I put Sketch on him. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. We will be fine, I'm sure. Could have given him something better, though. And here, I mean, we've got the regen effect, so we're not too bad. And this should do nothing to us. Yep, we're all pretty much immune. And you can do that as many times as you want. It's not going to make a difference. Okay. Look, <laughs> they keep trying. Well, kudos to them for still trying. Wham. Yeah, but you basically you want to just do single attacks because if you hit all four, like I said, they do have counter attacks and all four will counter attack that same person. So you definitely want to be careful about that. Avalanche is ice based, so I believe we will be safe. Yep. I think one of them just died. I kind of think I heard like the boom. Snowstorm again is ice based. Yeah, like I said, the first time you fight this thing. Ooh, did I? I didn't mean to target all three of them. Uh, like I said before, the only types of damage that the ice dragon can do to you is ice based and physical. So if you set your team up to be able to defend against those types of attacks, you're pretty much going to be well protected in this battle. Yeah, those are the Zaga spells. Okay, freeze. I think that, like, actually prevents that character from attacking, but thankfully it missed. Drone weapons are still doing good. I think we're just going to stick with the Fire Raga spells for Celeste and Go-Go. Alright, 
This would normally be damaging, but once again, I have nothing to fear from it. Wham. Northern Cross. Is this the one that freezes me? Yeah. Okay, so... Right. There's not much I can do with her. She's frozen at the moment. That's okay. We're still pretty good. So, Gogo can use the regular fire spell on Celeste, so she'll be able to move again. I'm not sure what that was supposed to do, if anything. There we go. So, Ice Dragon is dead. Booyah. However, we're going to have to face all eight of them again, so Storm Dragon comes in here. First thing you're going to want to do is switch up your shields. That is going to be the saving grace in these battles, so we want to switch to Thunder Shields for him. That did switch to Thunder Shield. Yeah, good. And he's going to need to switch to a Thunder Shield as well. There we go. Celeste and Gogo already have almost like blanket elemental protection, so they don't have to worry too much about swapping shields. But the other two guys do. There we go. Make sure that we keep on the pressure. Ear Knife. That actually is Wind Elemental, which I think this thing might not take damage from, so I want to be careful about that. I need to keep an eye on the MP as well, because I would have liked to give Celeste and Gogo Celestriads, but then they would have to either take off a ribbon or a Miracle Shoes, and it's really convenient having that combo. Okay, it cloaks itself in wind. It's not going to make a difference because spells still hit it. Shadow's Thrown Ammunition is unblockable or I think unavailable, so he's still going to hit, and it's dead. So <laughs> there you go. Okay. Now it's the Earth Dragon. Ooh, we get Preemptive Strike. That's nice. I actually am going to use this time. I'm going to Osmos him. And now I can use the Air Knife. And I am going to want to use actually Phantom here eventually. Uh, no need to actually do that yet. I might stick with Holy if there's just one of them, because that's a bit easier on the MP. It's uh, still going to do pretty good damage, I think. And I'm going to activate Golem just for the start. Yeah, Quake is going to hit us. But I don't think it's going to do a lot of damage. Ooh, actually, that did a lot of damage. I am surprised. I just said, I don't think it's going to do much damage. And then it, like, basically kills me. So we do need to have Float on the team. I thought we would weather Quake much better than we actually did. I don't think he knows Drain. That's fine. He'll just uh, he'll just heal himself. We're all up in the air now, so we should be safe. Yeah. So 
I, I underestimated his earth damage. And yeah, he's gonna use 50 G's. I didn't know he would do that. Oh boy. I should have set up for earth damage protection. Wow. Okay, he just comes in with two back to back. Thank you for that. I really, really did not anticipate his earth damage doing that much to me. This is kind of annoying. Alright, well, I can make it through this. Come on. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't think this is gonna work. He's just if the speed wasn't so much of a concern, I could do it, but he's just spamming those earth based attacks back to back, and I'm not sure if I can keep up with healing. Well, I mean, here's the thing. In the end, Celeste and Gogo -Go can live. They are okay. So it might actually be better for me just to ignore the earth damage. And if these two die, let them die and just fight it out with just the other two. Uh, like I said, I seriously underestimated how damaging the Earth attacks would be. There, he becomes enraged. And we have to be very careful now. Come on, come on. Where? There. I want to switch. Savage. Okay. I'm trying to get Phantom on my people. And I'm just going to kind of wait. Boom. Want to, I don't want to attack until I yeah, until that activated. There we go. So now with our people invisible, we should be able to beat him. Because that was the point I knew I needed to get to. Once he becomes enraged, he is not going to do anything except use physical attacks. And I can osmos him except he's dead. Okay. There we go. Gold Dragon. So we actually have... Yeah, he likes to absorb magic. However, we do have something that we can do. Um, if I cast Berserk, is he going to absorb that? Or does he... I think it actually did work. So is he going to use magic or just attack physically? Yeah, I think he's just going to attack physically now. And now this thing absorbs magic, so you have to use spells that it's not going to absorb. So, Flood is this thing's weakness. It's weak against water. You can use Flood to kind of deal damage that way. And yeah, I think Berserk did work because now it only seems to be attacking physically. It's not casting any thunder spells, which is kind of its thing. It has thunder magic, but it's just relying on regular attacks and mighty claw. So as long as you zerk it at the start of the battle and then you're in vanish, then you're kind of safe. You see, he's not been able to deal any damage to me whatsoever. I, I think I need to be careful, though, because I think Celeste is really low on MP, so I just actually might take a break here from attacking and just wait for her, her to get her turn and check here. Yeah, she needs more MP. Thankfully, using Osmos and Vanish does not remove it. So I'm just going to let her get her turn. And I thought that might happen.
Skull Dragon. Okay, is up next. Yeah. So, uh, this guy, in order to kill him, you have to get rid of all his MP. Because if you get rid of his HP, he just revives. So, I'm going to have my two magic users use Osmos to get their MP back, while the other two just use Rasp to get rid of it. Fear does nothing. I wonder if fear is physical based. Okay, he, okay, we can just focus on using Rasp now. And yeah, she got full MP back too. So yeah, basically now this is just uh, quite simply, I'm just going to keep rasping until this thing dies. Uh, you might remember when I fought it in the Dragon's Den, I did kill it. I got rid of all its HP just because I wanted to show you. You get a message that says Skull Dragon reanimates. It can't die as long as it has magic. So you have to get rid of its MP to kill it for good. Or kill it again. It's technically undead. It's undead, but unfortunately using... The, the cheap way out, like using Phoenix Downs or X Potions, that doesn't work on this guy either. Uh, you gotta get rid of the MP. Yeah. I thought that he had, like, status inflicting abilities which would remove my Vanish status, but he keeps just using Fear, and it always keeps missing, which makes me think that Fear is actually physical based. Unfortunately, there's no way to speed this up. This is just... It, it's a long fight when you fight this guy. Unfortunately, there's not much else you can really do about it. Now, this might remove Vanish. Yeah, it did. Okay. So, Fear might hit her. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if it might actually be worth casting Vanish on her again. Because uh, that move that it used, it didn't seem to use it very often. So Vanish is actually nice protection against that fear ability that it has. So I may just try putting Vanish back on Celeste so that we are protected and we continue to just... Disaster. Okay, she dodged it. Okay, no, there's no point. So... Because he can just use... I mean, she's going to be... Yeah, but... Yeah, everyone else got their Vanish removed. Which is fine. We don't need Vanish. It's not like it's absolutely necessary for us to win uh, but we do take a bit of physical damage now we can use our other espers like golem to protect us Yeah, not much to talk about here. The battle strategy really hasn't changed. Just basically trying to protect from its attacks and use Rasp until the thing finally croaks. And Golem will come in to protect us, give us some physical protection from the attacks. Rasp. Spells. Fear. Yeah, so fear must be physical if Golem blocks it. I might even cut this part out because, I mean, you can see my regen is keeping my HP up to almost max. His physical attacks are not that damaging. And 
it's just taking a really long time to rasp him, so I might actually just fast forward to the end of the fight where he dies. Okay, so that took much longer than I believe it should have. I mean, just for personal preference. I, d I don't like how much MP it has and you have to get rid of it, but we finally killed it. Now, next up is the Holy Dragon. This thing is usually, yeah, it calls for heavenly aid, and this makes it normally very difficult, but in my notes it says that you can silence it. So I'm going to give that a shot. Okay, missed. Yeah, okay, we gotta be careful, because we use quick. And I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try see if this thing can be silenced, because it said it missed, but in my notes here, it says I can silence it, so I just want to see if that is actually plausible. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it's going to work. But we still have our quick ability. Uh-huh. And yeah. I might just need to heal here. Okay. Okay, so he can use Phantom Rush on his first turn. And for his second turn, he's just going to defend. Now, with Go Go, what I'm going to do here is use Force Field. And just going to keep using Force Field until we get immune to Holy. Immune to Ice. Get that cursor out of there. Let's try it again. Basically, we want to just keep going through it until we get immune to Holy. Now immune to Wind. And he, he cures himself, because he can counter that second force field, but that's okay, because I'm not too worried about it. Fuma Shuriken, you can't stop that. And just defend for the second one. Wham. I've got Kurok, I queued up for him. Okay. And for a second, I'm just going to defend, because Kuraga should be coming in. Huh, Kuraga doesn't seem to come in for her. I, hmm, that's weird. Anyway, you know what we're going to be doing. Gonna make us immune to Holy. That would be amazing. Earth? No. I'll try this again. Poison. And he heals himself again. What does he heal for? Okay, yeah, so I mean, I can definitely out damage that. That's not an issue. Yeah, one Fuma Shuriken does it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Valor? I don't know. Because I've got all my other buffs. Yeah, okay, so I don't know if Celeste is even going to get a turn here. I'm just going to defend. And he can Phantom Rush. Because I don't... Because I think with Quick, Celeste's turn apparently seems to keep getting skipped. So I'm just going to wait and not... Yeah, Quick always seems to like pop in next in the queue. So I'm actually just going to wait on my other characters so that Celeste can get her turn and get back in rotation here. Immune to Lightning. Watch, like, Hoi is going to be the very last one I get. Probably. Yeah, so, the game knows. This is like, this is like trolling. 
It really is. Heartless Angel. I was worried about that. Okay. Please don't come in with a saintly beam. That would be very bad. Quick. Yeah, we need to heal up here. Quick. No. I'll have her use quick in the rotate, so that way she'll stay in rotation. Alright. <laughs> I don't have enough for two force fields. Of course. Of course. But I can still get my MP back, and we can get one. So we're going to see. Is this going to be holy, or is the game going to troll me and give me the other one? Oh, holy. There we go. So, second to last. Throw. Uh, Gladius is holy elemental, so I definitely do not want to throw that at the dragon. And for this, I think... Uh, yeah, second. I just need to stop here. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is... Okay, so... Right. Um, first thing I'm going to do is Ultima this guy. Give you an Ultima to remember me by. And second turn is going to be... See, I can't see... There we go. Yeah, it's a weird thing with this emulator. Sometimes you target all party members, but doesn't show the hand pointing to all of them. It's annoying when that happens. Okay, I'm gonna just have him actually... Uh, use an elixir here for, his M for MP purposes. And I'm just going to defend for the second turn. Uh, maybe I should have done that, because I'm... For some reason, if... Yeah, um, I'm thinking... Shadow might be, be out of rotation now if I keep using Quick for the others. Quick always seems to take precedent over other turns. I don't know. I'm just going to defend... Oh no, he, he got it. He got it. Uh, he needs an ether. Ah, finally killed it. That is the Holy Dragon. Another one bites the dust. So the blue dragon. Yeah, Rippler is not going to work. I need water protection, so we're going to equip tortoise shells. Swapping shields around as we need it. Alright, I should be good. Osmos. Uh huh, okay, so yeah, this thing's still got a bit of physical strength in it, so we're gonna protect against that. So this will just protect us from the physical hits. Well, I think this thing is weak against Thundaga. Thunder is like its weakness. But I want to see if Thundaga is going to do more damage than Ultima.
So quad nine for Thundaga. Can I use Ultima? Yeah. These water attacks are doing next to nothing. Kunai, I can throw this thing. Uh huh. Why? That's why I use Golem, just for a little added protection. All right, let's see how much damage Ultima does here. So it does quad nine as well. So in that case, it's probably better to use Thundaga just because it's cheaper on MP. Although now that I've killed it, that doesn't really matter. 